Hey guys, this is a guided bow conditioning session and in this video, we're gonna be doing 2040 SPT. Now 2040 SPT is a relatively simple drill and it's not that exciting, but it is one of the most foundational training drills for improving your bow fitness and training technique structure. And so for that reason, it's my view that this should be one of the first drills that you start to incorporate and program into your weekly training plan to focus on improving your posture, your alignment, your bow fitness in the full draw position. And that translates exceptionally well into improving your accuracy and consistency on the shooting line. We first do a 20 second hold, followed by a 40 second rest and repeat for 10 repetitions. Okay, so there's a couple of really important things to get right when you're doing this training drill. First of all, as with every training drill or bow fitness exercise, it's absolutely critical that every repetition and every second of training is done with strict technique. Now this means that as you go through the drill, if you start to fatigue or lose your technique a little bit, don't muscle through. All that's going to do is reinforce the bad habit and train in the incorrect technique. So if you start to fatigue or if you start to lose your technique at any stage, just let down and restart with the next exercise. Now the next thing is to make sure you're doing this drill at the correct draw weight. So you can do this drill with your bow, with a lighter set of limbs or a training bow such as this. And this training tool allows you to reinforce the same technique principles and build up the repetitions at a lighter weight whilst reinforcing the correct technique. And that translates surprisingly well into the consistency and accuracy of your technique. So if you're all warmed up, let's get straight into it. Okay, get ready for round one. We're going to start in 10 seconds. Go into your setup position and three, two, one. Raise, draw and hold for 20 seconds. Hold your posture. Make sure you hold that chest down with those abs strongly engaged. And three, two, one and rest. Now you have 40 seconds rest. Get ready for round two. Set up. And hold. Make sure you keep holding your front shoulder down. Three, two, one and rest. Okay, now get ready for round three. Set up. And hold. Hold that strong alignment. Make sure you hold your shoulders in a line, chest down, and keep that elbow squeezing around. Hold strong alignment through the full 20 second hold. Three, two, one and rest.
Okay, get ready for round four. Set up. Hold. Make sure you hold that front shoulder down with the front arm internally rotated. Don't let it pop up as you go through the hold. You're doing well. Keep your alignment strong. Three, two, one, and rest. Get ready for round five. Go into your setup position. And hold. You're doing really well, keep going. Three, two, one, and rest. Okay, that's five, we're halfway there. Get ready for round six. Okay, set up. Hold. Keep solid face pressure, the pressure into your anchor position. Three, two, one and rest. Get ready for round seven. Set up. And hold. You're doing well, keep it up. Keep your alignment strong, chest down, strong posture. Three, two, one, and rest. Get ready for round eight. Set up. Hold. Hold that strong alignment through your shoulders, through the elbow, continuing to squeeze around. Three, two, one and rest.
get ready for round nine. Go into your setup position and hold. Make sure you keep holding your front shoulder down. Three, two, one, and rest. Well done. Go into our final set, just one more to go. Get ready for our 10th round. This is our final hold. Set up. Hold. Just 10 seconds left. Keep holding. You're doing really well. Three, two, one and complete. Well done. How did you go with this one? Make sure you let me know in the comments section below. Now, like I was saying guys, one of the brilliant things about SBT is that those longer holds, those 20 seconds when you're maintaining your posture and alignment allows your body to become efficient in that position. Your body will learn how to become efficient by learning which muscles it needs to maintain tension with and which ones it can relax. And that translates exceptionally well into the strength and stability of your technique. So the other great thing about SPT is that it can be done pretty much anywhere. It doesn't matter whether you're at the range or at home, whether you're on competition but stuck in a hotel room, you can maintain a basis of technique training every single day through this method. So I would like to lay down a bit of a challenge for you. And for the next seven days, I would like you to complete this SPT session every single day. It only takes 10 minutes, so I know you can do it. And report back at the end of those seven days, let me know how you're going with it, and I guarantee you're gonna to start to see results and feel a lot more stable and strong in your technique structure. Anyway guys, have a great week of training. I look forward to hearing all about it. Enjoy your week, and I look forward to seeing you on the range very soon.